Good morning. It's Tuesday, March 14th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Drinking from the Rock. And our scripture is 1 Corinthians chapter 10, where the Apostle Paul writes, I don't want you to forget, dear brothers and sisters, about our ancestors in the wilderness long ago. All of them were guided by a cloud that moved ahead of them, and all of them walked through the sea on dry ground. In the cloud and in the sea, all of them were baptized as followers of Moses. All of them ate the same spiritual food, and all of them drank the same spiritual water. For they drank from the spiritual rock that traveled with them, and that rock was Christ. In Exodus, we read the story of God's children out in the desert, thirsty and with no water in sight. Their complaints were against Moses, but reached God in heaven, and the Lord instructed Moses to strike a rock. In answer to Moses' stick hitting the rock, God provided a gushing fountain in the middle of a wasteland. That moment was a harbinger of things to come, a symbol of God's providence, miracle after miracle, until his promises all unfolded 2,000 years later at a cross on the town garbage dump and a borrowed but barely used tomb. I have a memory, and a photo buried somewhere in thousands of old pictures, of a visit my family made to the Desert of Maine in the 1950s. One would not expect to find a slice of the Sahara in New England. The Tuttle family didn't either. They bought that farm, a small farm, in 1821, and the family abandoned it in 1890 because lacking understanding of sustainable farming techniques depleted the soil, and the underlying sand basically rose up to cover whatever was left of their orchard. The treetops are covered by the sand to this day. That photo was of me, 10 years old, lying on that sand, tongue hanging out, watching my handful of sand fall through my fingers. It was, and remains, my mind's image of what it's like to die of thirst. There are many things necessary to human life, but food, water, and breathing are the most critical. Wastelands are places where life has lost its way and the metaphor of a desert as choosing a sinful, rebellious lifestyle is a precise descriptive of what Israel chose in the wilderness, dying of thirst for spiritual life. They were angry at Moses, angry at God, and unable to see how parched their souls had become. It was going to be a long 40 years in that desert. For you today, providing an unending water source, more than the former slaves could drink, bathe in, or irrigate a thousand generations of cornfields, was just the beginning of seeing the gracious hand of God give all humanity the greatest of gifts, the salvation of souls. Those Israelites drank from the rock, and he's still giving living water today. So, are you thirsty? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.